Wait. Did he just disappear on me? Oh, hello. You're gonna die. I'm gonna kill you. It's gonna be freaking awesome. I'm gonna get some epic stuff from you right now. Yes, sir, please. Ooh. Oh, damn, it's a Daedalus Stormbug. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Alrighty, guys. Well, welcome back to another episode of Python's Run. My friends, my name is Python, of course. And thank you so much for the support you have been showing for this series so far. It is super appreciated, as always. So, yeah. Starting off with that guy, kind of unexpectedly, to be honest. I was actually in the process of trying to farm out a couple of truffle worms. I've got two so far, but I would not mind getting myself a third one, perhaps, just so we have it, I guess. Because today, my friends, we are going to be attempting Duke Fish Run once again. With the new gear that we managed to get in the last episode, of course, we managed to get the Influx Wafer. The, uh, Wafer? Waver. Waver. Yeah, you guys were saying I was saying wafer as in like wafer thin ham. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, there's freaking pirates. Oh, you freaking bunch of jerk bags. How could you do that? That's so rude. I don't want it, man. Why are you doing this? Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, is there any like more, more truffle worms, please? That would be super appreciated there, bud. Uh, let me just uh, sit up here for a second. Maybe one will spawn down there momentarily. I hope that's going to be the case. Anyway, all right, let's go down. Uh, hello. Anything? Nah, doesn't look like it. Well, dang it. Okay, well, we've already, well, we're already like halfway to the freaking ocean, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go there, man. I'm just gonna go to the ocean, and we're gonna see about taking on Duke Fish Run once again. And here we go, folks. Duke Fish Run has awoken, and we are going to see just what kind of things we can get going here. Now, if we could do this first time today, that would be super, super awesome. I, uh, how many episodes have we actually spent trying to take down Duke Fish on? I feel like it's like four, maybe even five. I have no idea, but uh, it's it's quite a lot, basically. It's quite a lot. <laughs> All right, so it looks like the Influx Waver is doing a pretty decent amount of damage. If not, then my Xeno dudes are definitely doing uh, a decent amount of damage. So let's just keep ourselves going. This uh, sword is definitely doing a very good job. Uh, yeah, look at it. He's down to 36k already. It's his third stage. The first and second stage I could do pretty pretty well, actually. I feel like I've got that to a T now. It is just his third stage, which really is a pain in the butt. All right, let's keep going. Oh, hang on. Oh, I've got myself stuck. All right, he's in the second stage now, folks. Oh, kill him. Hey, buddy. Y'all ain't taking me down. No way. Come on, dude. All right. Oh! Okay, just be careful there, son. Just be careful there. We're still at max health, folks. We're looking good. We're looking good. If we can keep it going, that would be super, super awesome. All right, so we seem to have a bit of a figure of eight thing going on right now, which is definitely cool with me. Ooh! Oh, no, that was, uh, that was a big hit. Okay, there's another thing going on there. I think it may be time to start utilizing this thing. All right, bud. Come on, then. Y'all want to go? I'm taking you out of the game so hard right now. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, I think I've got a little strategy on Locke right now. When he's doing his dashing thing, that's when I'm going to be flying. But when he's not, then uh, that's that might be when... Oh, hello, here he goes. And third stage. All right, this is where things get really interesting now. So, we've got to... Okay. Okay, okay, looking good. Come on, man. And health. Let's have a bit of health. Where's my Master Ninja gear? Oh, what the hell? I didn't even have it on. Oh! Okay, gotta be careful, gotta be careful. Keep it going. Come on then, come on. Oh, there's another one. Okay, and he's TPing. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, yes! <laughs> Let's go, boys. Oh. Holy. 14 health, I think I saw myself out there. Jesus. <laughs> Oh, there we go, boys. Check it out. Oh. Oh, I thought I was dead there for sure, man. I didn't have my freaking Master Ninja gear on me. What a freaking idiot, man. Holy crap. Jeez. All right, let's see what we get from this thing. It is a bubble gun. Well, it's not really what we want, is it? What I would have liked is some fish on wings. That would be super awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with the fact that we managed to take him down or the flare on actually the flare on or the fish run wings would be super super awesome Maybe even the tsunami. Those are the like top three things in my opinion. Uh, we've got the shrimpy truffle here, which uh, basically means if we go in water uh, whee! Oh look at me man 
Damn, dude, look at that. That is some serious speed. Whee! <laughs> this is awesome, dude. Oh, man. Okay, what do, you th what do you guys think? Should we do it again? Should we give it one more go? I mean, we've got our Master Ninja gear on properly this time, so... I mean, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't uh, try it again. See if we can't get ourselves a another bunch of loot. You know what I'm saying? All right, so... And here we go. All right, Influx Waver. Back to it, buddy. Back to the old grind. Let's do it, folks. Oh, there we go again, folks. Let's go, man. <laughs> again, extremely low health, but holy crap, we did it the second time, boys. Let's go, man. Oh. <laughs> oh. I feel like the only way of properly getting Duke Fishron back for killing me all those times is to do a Duke Fishron poning montage. I mean, we only had two worms there, but holy Jesus, man. I'm super happy about that. Alright, let's see what we get this time. It is a tsunami. Awesome, man. That's really cool. Okay, so we got one of the things I was actually asking for. Nice. Alright, so I'm pretty good to move on to the cultists now. I mean, we're probably not going to take down uh, the Moon Lord first time. In fact, no, do you know what? That's a stupid idea. Let's not do the cultists at all. Let's go ahead and do the uh, the end game events first. Let's do the Pumpkin Moon and the Frost Moon. I'm feeling good about that, man. Finally taking him down the blooming bugger. Jeez, dude, I'm feeling really happy about that. <laughs> Nice. All right, let's put these. Uh, let's put these other mounts inside of here real quick. Oh, look at these guys! They're coming around the outside. Ah, you can't get me, son. No way, buddy. All right, uh, let's put this away. Let's have those two right there. And yeah, I guess the time has come to uh, get some get some ponage going. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it, folks. Let's go ahead and uh, take down the pirates. See if we can't get ourselves an epic weapon, maybe even the coin gun. Because believe it or not, it is something we need to farm out for as part of the uh, goals of the series. You know, we need to try and farm out for the coin gun. If we can get it, that would be absolutely ridiculous. Oh! Gold ring? Oh, check it out. Increases coin pickup rates. Dang it, I thought it was something else for a minute. It said lucky, so I naturally assumed it said lucky coin. And I would have been the happiest guy in the entire world. Because ladies and gentlemen, I am still ashamed to admit... In the entire time, the general 1.3 update has been out. Like, the whole 1.3 update from the very start in 2015. I have still not had a lucky coin drop at all. Which is ridiculous. It really is. So, here we go. Let's just head down here. Oh, look at these guys. It's a pit of death for you there, son. All right, there you go. Get wrecked. Uh, another... Oh, gold ring. What? Wow, we got two gold rings, dude. That's ridiculous. You can't give me a lucky coin, though? What the hell? Come on, man. You got... I've got, I've got faith. Come on. I'm not going to lose my faith just because I'm not getting stuff. All right. Let's get back over to the thing because I feel like the spawn rates are decreasing because we're not near like a town area. So let's head back over here and uh, pwn some dudes. Yeah, buddy. All right. So yeah, we're taking down the pirates in an attempt to try and get some cool stuff. The lucky coin would be awesome. Uh, the coin gun would also be awesome. But both of them are extremely very rare. So if we can get them... You know, that would be, like, a blessing, really. A blessing from the Terraria gods. That would be amazing. So, uh, yeah, let's keep going, folks. Let's see what we get. <gasps> no way! I just got the coin gun! <laughs> you are kidding me! That's ridiculous! I just got the freaking coin gun, bros! <laughs> what? That's insanity! I was not actually expecting that! I was wanting it, but I wasn't expecting it! What? <laughs> I am unbelievably hyped right now, folks! We've taken down Duke Fish one. Oh man, my luck in this series is freaking turning, dude! I'm telling you right now, man! Oh! Oh, I'm unbelievably hyped about that, man! The only thing that could possibly put the icing on the cake is if we got a freaking lucky coin. But what are the chance? I don't even know, like, the percentage chance of getting that. If we can get it, though, that would be the most bonkers thing in this entire world. For real, man. Oh, I can't believe that, though. The second coin gun I've ever owned, and we got it on camera. That is bonkers and amazing and everything in between. <laughs> Freaking sweet dudes. Like, I can't I can't tell you how unbelievably hyped I am right now. Okay, right. We've got this dude up here. Maybe if we take this guy down, he's gonna give us something amazing. That would be awesome. I wonder if this flying Dutchman can drop down captains. That is one thing I don't really know, and I keep forgetting I've got myself a, a flying machine to utilize. So here we go. 
This guy is done. I don't think he dropped anything though, which is unfortunate. Okay, keep it going. I ain't about to lose my money, folks. Here we go. Oh, oh wow, okay. <laughs> I like dashed into them all. Jeez, man. Uh, unfortunately, I think my inventory is now full because I can't pick up all of the uh, furniture that's down there, which is unfortunate, but, you know, can't have everything in the world. Oh, for goodness sake, now you're giving me a freaking blood menu for real right now, dude. Oh, I'm about to die. Oh! Can we, like, not? We've got, like, 15 seconds left, dudes. Come on, man. And in 10. Nice. Dead. <laughs> well, there we go, folks. The, the death. And it's not even caused by Duke Fisher on this time. It's from the freaking pirates. Well, I was in that death pit for a bit too long to the point where it became a death pit for me. Good job, Python. Oh, that's, a, oh, that's right. I forgot. Oh, I set my spawn point here. <laughs> well then, no worries at all. I don't know what all these mummies are doing, but you're in the wrong invasion there, bud. This is not a mummy invasion. This is a freaking pirate invasion. You are not a pirate. It would be kind of funny if there was pirate mummies, though. I will admit that. <laughs> Uh, oh my god, it's just a, a big cluster bomb of a whole bunch of different types of folks. There's pirates and blood moon mobs and freaking desert mobs as well. I mean, just what the hell is going on right now, man? This is ridiculous, dude. Come on, keep it going. Oh man, if we can get a coin gun, not coin gun, a, a lucky coin, that would be insane. But if not, then I might be too heartbroken because the coin gun with it, within itself is just amazing. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to continue on with this and I'll be back in just a sec. Oh, guys! Look at that, there's a pirate staff on the ground. I'm actually still in the pirate invasion technically, but I've gone a little bit far away from my uh, from my uh, little town area. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, pick this thing up. Uh, there we go, there we go. Murderous pirate staff. Awesome. All right, let's get back to the pirate invasion. Oh, okay, there's a KO cannon down there as well. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting that. Okay. All right, oh, 97%. Well, I might as well keep you guys with me then, huh? Let's finish this off, this thing off together. Okay, we got a bunch of golden furniture. Doesn't look like there's any, like, lucky coin down there. Unfortunately. There is a discount card, though. That's kind of badass. Ah, but, yeah, that looks like it's just about it, unfortunately. Ah, oh, man. Well, unfortunately, guys, there's no sign of a lucky coin still. If we can get one in the series, that would be fantastic. I mean, we need to get one in the series, right? Because, you know, it's part of the goals. You know, we need to get every single drop from every single event and boss that has multiple drops. So... Yeah. Howdy, guys. Well, uh, yeah, there we go. We've got to solve this event done, and I think it's time to move on to something else. Alrighty, guys. So, to finish off the episode, I thought it would be nice to go ahead and do the pumpkin moon. That is right, my friends. I've got a pumpkin moon medallion right here. I've got a little plantation going on inside of the desert base now. If I just, like, zoom in on this real quick, as you can see, I've got some little grass patches with pumpkins on top over there, which is awesome. So, we've got about five seconds until we can do this thing. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, the first pumpkin moon of the series. Let's go, boys. All right. Hello, Mr. Pixie. You can go and get killed and stuff. Okay, so we have some, uh, we've got some poning to do, huh? Yes, yes we do, yes we do. Lots and lots of poning. Okay, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and, uh, oh my god. I forgot how ridiculously brilliant the influx waiver is. I mean, like, it's just decimating everyone. I'm just slowly walking towards them like some sort of, like, modern warfare to juggernaut. <laughs> oh man, this is brilliant, dude. <laughs> All right. We need a wave three already. That's kind of nice. I mean, uh, you know, the later waves would be awesome. I mean, if we can get the final wave on our very first attempt, that would be absolutely brilliant. I would absolutely not expect it, by the way, but it would be absolutely brilliant. Obviously, we need to try not to die. If we die, then we're probably going to get stuck in a bit of a death loop. And uh, that is, of course, something I really would like to have not happen. So, yeah. Hey there, Mr. Hellhound. How much health? 1,800 health. Holy crap. Jeez, man, I wish I had that amount of health. That would be brilliant. <laughs> oh, dear. Alrighty, hey there. Peeps, we're on wave four, which means the uh, morning wood dude is going to start spawning in, right? There he is. Hey there, buddy. How you doing? 13k. I don't know what does more damage per second. This or my yo-yo? That is the question, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> I honestly have no idea, folks. I would have to go ahead and uh, experiment with that one. But there we go. That guy is dead. I don't think the influx waiver would be able to take down multiple uh, multiple bosses at the same time, though. I think the yo-yo might be the one to go for, for that. Yeah, there we go. Wait five. Nice one. Okay, let's keep ourselves going. A little bit of stuff going on here. Hey there, buds. 
Y'all are gonna die. Oh, that's, is that a spooky sapling? It is. Hey, man. We got ourselves a pet for our first drop. Hey, man. I mean, you know, no complaints and all that. Let's go ahead and put this thing back on and see what kind of damage we can do. Uh, what? Around 1,000 damage per second-ish? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to get it against the boss. Like 1,200 damage per second? All right, what about this thing? Do we see? Oh, he's dead. Well, uh, I don't know. Okay, so we're getting about 1,200 damage per second from the Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo. So we've got to try... Oh! This guy's already spawning in. Jeez, man. Oh, this thing's also got around 1,200 damage per second. Oh, that's fascinating, actually. I would have thought it would be, like, slightly more, slightly less. But it's actually nearly the same. Interesting. Okay. Well, you know, no complaints on all that. I mean, we've still got ourselves a pretty damn badass weapon. All right. Come on, bud. Keep it going. If we fly perpendicular to where he's going, then we should be able to avoid him pretty nicely. And there we go. He is out of the game. And, oh my god, we got a horseman blade on our first attempt. Holy poop. That's amazing. Okay. Right. Well, now then, we can just go ahead and uh, utilize our UFO thing and uh, just avoid his attacks, I guess. I mean, this should be pretty easy. It's normally quite easy to avoid Pumpkin's attacks. Keep going there, bud. 10,000 towers. And that down to 8,000. Oh, man, this is brilliant, man. Like, we're doing so much better than I thought I would. And get off the game, buddy. What is that? That is a, a spider egg. Oh, okay. We can summon a pet spider or a pet tree. Interesting. Okay. Hello. Hi there, buds. Can we, like, not die today, please? Oh, jeez. Well, back to pumpkin. <laughs> That's just how it goes, isn't it, folks? You get pumpkin, you have to prioritize them before he kicks your ass. That's just how it goes, folks. Just how it goes. Alrighty, well, uh, I tell you what, what we're going to do is we are going to do little progress updates as we get to each wave. So, yeah, let's get on with this thing and let's see how far we get. Ooh, candy corn rifle. Nice. And wave 10. Alrighty, guys, we are now up to wave 11, which is kind of awesome. Like I said, wasn't really expecting to get this far, but, uh, I mean, we're just going to keep going. I mean, <laughs> you know, things are looking good right now. We do have ourselves a stake launcher now, as well as a trophy which is kind of awesome. Did he drop anything? Another spider egg? Eh, better than nothing, huh? Cool. Hey, wave 13. Okay. Wow. Two waves until final wave. And I think we're going to get it. We're about three quarters of the way through the night, which means we've got about two minutes remaining of this particular event. But holy crap, man. We've managed to... Uh, do pretty damn well. Now, one of the things about the pumpkin moon is the fact that it is by far and away, in my opinion anyway, the best way of getting yourself a whole crap ton of money because everybody drops a pretty crazy amount of money, which is really kind of amazing, you know? Okay. Oh, lordy, lordy. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of stuff going to be on the ground now. I mean, look at this. We're already up to over a platinum coin, which is, you know, like I said, kind of amazing. So, yeah. Really happy about that. Really happy indeed. Oh, here we go. Can I, like, maybe... Oh, I'm going to take that guy down. All right, and then we can get back to Pumpkin. All right, sweet. So this would be the one that will probably tip us over to wave 14. So let's keep ourselves going, huh? Wave 14! There it is, folks. And now we've got multiple Pumpkins after us. Oh, jeez. This isn't going to be, like, dangerous or anything. Holy crap. All right, well, let's see how we do against... Oh, now three Pumpkins. Oh, damn, dude. I think this might be the end of us, man. Honestly... Oh, God. <laughs> There's so many dudes. Oh, jeez. Okay. Can we, like, take one of them down? We've got, like, 30 seconds, and now we can regen, which is awesome. All right, cool. So, as you can see, what I've managed to do is I've managed to get all three pumpkins very close by so I can pretty much pwn them all with one swing of a sword, which is kind of nice. So, yeah. All right. Come on. We've got one of them almost dead. Let's just focus him down. And there we go. That's one out of the game. Okay, let's try and get the other two before time runs out. I think we may run out of time, actually, to be honest with you guys. Four, three, two, one, and... No! There we go, folks. That's the end of the pumpkin moon, unfortunately. That guy was so close to being dead. That's unbelievable. All right. Well, yeah. Loads of, loads of stuff. Most of it I can't even pick up. Jeez, man. Okay, look at that. We've got a candy corn rifle. We've got a, a jack-o'-lantern launcher. Another horseman blade right there. Another cursed sapling. Some more trophies. Wow. That is kind of amazing. <laughs> and we've wound up with like one and a half platinum as well. Jeez. That's crazy, man. 
Alrighty, well, anyways, guys, on that note, it is going to be time to end this episode. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and you are excited to see more, of course, do be sure to drop a like rating, especially let me know if you want to see more, and it helps me out, the channel out, and the video out very much so. So, much appreciated in advance if you do decide to do that. But, uh, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, and of course, you can subscribe if you want to know in the future videos I've had. But thanks for watching, folks. Your support, as always, has been super appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time.